Hello, my wealthy wise and friends. This is Ms. Sophia, author of Wealthy Wife, Meeting, Dating, and Man Rich Man, as well as the founder of the Wealth Wealth Academy, and of course, your godmother of affluent romance. How are you doing today, wealthy wife, wealth, wealthy wife, fam, and friends? All right. Today, I actually want to talk, go a little deeper into um, a topic that I started in a, in a video I did a few months ago called Divine Femininity. Uh, you know, basically as a, as a, as a kingmaker or equals a kingmaker. And I'm bringing up this topic because I'm actually working on a master class. I've got a few things I'm working on master class wise for the online academy. And one of them actually is in the how to be present with, how to cultivate, how to love, honor, respect, and nurture a man, a true man, a truly masculine man. And I've been doing what I normally do, as opposed to me just coming with my knowledge and wisdom. I've actually been talking to men that I've got some really great men in my life. So I've been talking to them getting adding their opinion adding their wisdom to information i already know because i've been talking to men look that kid you guys not i have spoken to thousands upon thousands upon thousands of men over the course of decades because i've been at this for a while and i always love going to the source when i have questions about a man i'm not asking another woman i'm going to the man to make sure that i have the information needed so when i'm sharing information with you guys in reference to them it comes from a man there's many things I know about them from my point of view as a woman, but to stand inside of a man's energy, stand inside of a man's shoes, I don't know what that is. I'm not a man. And it would be very arrogant of me to say that I know what they're thinking and feeling when I've never lived a single day inside of a man's body with the XY chromosome and going through what they go through, especially in reference to a melanated man. All I can do is give you the opinion based upon how I interact with them and from the space of a woman. So I always, when I talk to you guys in reference to men, it's because of knowledge I've actually gained from them. And if I have questions, I have, once again, I have those I can go to to have to receive answers. And I found out something interesting. I talked to one of my sons. Uh, apparently there's a new terminology out there now for, for a very masculine man. It's called the Sigma male. Now I haven't done my research yet. There's actually some videos on YouTube I'm going to watch on it. But I asked my son, what's the difference between a Sigma and an alpha man or an alpha male, he says basically, I'm, when I'm paraphrasing him, that the sigma man has the qualities of an alpha man or alpha male. But it's he's a more elevated version of an alpha. This one comes through the space where he's definitely more quiet, he's more reserved, he is more self-disciplined, uh, he has, he's gaining wisdom, definitely is wiser. He is somebody who definitely loves and honors femininity in women very honorable man so he's an elevated version he's the he is the elevated version of an alpha man that's basically the summary of what my son was telling me I thought that's kind of cool okay good 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 so I'm gonna check it out but in learning this, it made me think about that particular class. I said in reference to divine femininity equaling, you know, equals a cake maker. Because as a woman, and because once again, this whole trend going towards becoming a more feminine woman and being more feminine and feminine and feminine and feminine, I'm like, okay, great. Still, a lot of folks not quite figuring out what that actually means because they're still taking it from the point of view of what they think a man may want or they're taking what women think it might be and not really knowing that to be a woman who actually moves in the energy of femininity, it's an inside outward thing. It's something that you feel literally from the core of your being, from your spirit, from your soul, because it is who you are. The external stuff is you, we don't work the femininity from the outside in just because you decide to dress in more, you know, softer clothing, maybe in lighter colors, you know, cause pink is like the color du jour lace and frill and you know glitter and whatever um i like some of that stuff just so you know so i'm not putting it down you know the hair the makeup the this the that i mean all the stuff that paints the exterior that stuff is part of it matter of fact it's a very small part of it because you can be a very feminine woman and wear none of that stuff you can be a very feminine, very enticing, very um desirable woman without all of the extra stuff because it's about the woman moving in the space of knowing herself and loving the energy that she is exudes 
It is the charisma, it's the magnetism. It's the wisdom because to be a feminine woman, to really be feminine, you have to know how you function as a woman. Meaning you need to understand your body. You need to understand your reproductive cycle because it still amazes me how many women have no idea what goes on in reference to our ovaries, fallopian tubes, vagina, uterus, meaning the whole reproductive system, why she acts the way she acts. How are you feeding her? How are you feeding you? What are you doing to take care of yourself? How do you take care of yourself in reference to your emotional, your emotional mental states of being? I said, it's the whole energy and essence of you. How do you care for you? It's the ability to, once again, go into that energy of chaos because chaos is our energy, ladies. And chaos is not a bad thing. I may have mentioned this briefly in the last video. I told you guys, you guys, I've said it before. I record so many videos, audios, before I even get to the one I post. So sometimes I don't know if I posted something that I discussed. So I may discuss it again. <laughs> but chaos is our energy. Because out of chaos comes creation. Comes, you know, the material, the raw material to create things. So chaos is never a bad thing. It's just when people have no idea how to operate within the space of chaos, meaning they're just like oh, all over the place because of their love, their lack of self-discipline. Because yes, dear ladies, um, to be a feminine woman does involve discipline because we are strategists by nature. Discipline is very important. That's how you gain wisdom because you must learn, learn your lessons, elevate out of less life lessons to gain the wisdom that makes you a better person and a better woman and makes it possible for you to actually be able to interact with and be present with men. Because when you have gained wisdom and you're, you're maturing and not to mature to the point that, you know, you're stiff and narrow minded, but maturing in a way that matter of fact, when you, if you're doing maturation, maturation, meaning maturing the right way, you become more open minded. Because you're now, you're a student, you're still seeking knowledge and you're taking information into you and you're listening to things. And you may not agree with what you're hearing, but you're willing to hear a person talk as long as they're talking to you in a way that actually means they've done their homework and, you know, they're bringing to you a, a, um, information that they've actually researched and thought out, not just giving you hearsay or what they heard on the news. Oh my God. They've actually brought you information that is researchable because they've taken time to research it. There is an intelligence behind the conversation is what I'm getting at. Um, so you stay open. You're open-minded because when you move in a space of confidence and you know you, no one's going to shake you off of what you feel is right because you know you. You're open-minded to receive new information. And if it's workable information, you'll incorporate into what you're doing and then discard when it no longer works for you. So that wisdom is very, very important. It also develops that self-confidence. And that's also what makes you more magnetic to attract to you the things that you desire. But for you to bring things into your life that are going to rec recreate healthy relationships, add to your happiness, add to your joy, add to your prosperity, add to whatever your health and well-being, your peace of mind. For that to happen, once again, you have to work, you must be working on self. So before you can actually bring a man into this equation, especially a masculine man because he's a different person than what most of you are accustomed to meeting because once again women are assuming that masculinity is because he has a good job he makes money you know he dresses a certain way drives a certain car whatever all that the 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 out the surface stuff is for that quote-unquote masculine man you do not know the headspace of a masculine man most women do not understand the energy of a masculine man because he's, one, he's not all into his feelings. He has them. He definitely 100% has them. And he will express them when he, feel, when he knows he's in a safe space to do so. But for the most part, he's not able to express his emotions because most people he meets have all these preconceived notions about who he is. And when he expresses himself as a masculine man, then he's going to get, you know, emotional, mental, and, you know, quote unquote daggers thrown at him because oh how dare you stand in the space and speak your mind as a man and speak your man truth <gasps> what is wrong with you ladies so many women are so so bad when it comes to that you know they want to know what a man has to say when he tells speaks his truth then they're like well that's not right but how is it not right when he's telling you what's on his mind because it doesn't correspond what she thinks he should be saying if that is your space as a woman you have no business dating what would be a masculine man 
Go find yourself what they call the babies, the ones that are happily all into their feelings and all mushy and squishy too. They'd be a better fit for you. And I'm being very serious when I say it. Because when you're looking at a man and telling him that he's, when he speaks his truth, his truth is not correct because it doesn't line up with what you want it to be, you're looking for a man who's not going to actually speak to you in a way that a man speaks to a woman when he knows he has to speak his truth and be heard. A lot of you are looking for weak men. I know, not a popular opinion, but truth is truth. So you're trying to get over here and attract these, these men that actually are in the space of masculinity, those kings, emperors, that warrior scholar, the one of the men that I love so much, that protector. Oh my God, this, oh, if you've never had a true protector man in your life, oh my gosh, I do desire that for all of you who have the ability to actually be in that space with him and enjoy him and honor him. I do want, I desire that for all of you who are learning how to be present with that type of man because there's nothing like it. You know, I posted a video on my YouTube, on my, on my Instagram page, the Wealthy Wealth Academy Instagram page, and it's of this couple, and I love it. Her, her dancing is interesting. I'm gonna put it out there. She, But she's happy, she's having fun, and I'm loving it because one, she's just adorable to watch, but I love the man behind her. I'm looking at him, how he's standing, how he's watching over her, how he literally has energy out there. It's like, you know, this is my woman. You mess with her. You have, a, there's a consequence. Just in how he stands and puts his hands in his pockets. I know the kind of energy that that is. It's, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Cause it's still, I haven't taken it down yet. It's still up. So on the Wealth of Academy Instagram page. But that kind of man, he requires a certain kind of woman. You know, one who can speak to him and hear him, one that has patience for him, because guess what? They need patience too. Somebody you actually can trust. And that's where most women lose their men. He can't trust her because once he opens up and shares something with her, so many women, I've said this in other videos and other audios, have a big mouth. They cannot keep what he shared with them to themselves. They go and talk to their mother, their sisters, their friends. And next thing you know, something he shared with her in confidence is now public knowledge. That's not going to keep in a relationship together. Or, or it may stay together for a while, but it, the trust is gone. So now it's just basically going through the motions of, and she may never even know. She just now knows he no longer speaks to her the way she, he used to. Uh, he's not as open with her as he used to be. And now she's at in his face going, you, you never talked to me. And he may say, I, I did once and you, you blabbed. And she's not going to get it because she's going to think that what she did was nothing wrong with what she did because women talk. We communicate with each other. We share information. That's what we do. You know, we are like a resource of resources. But for a man, that's not how they, that's not how they function, especially in the space of being with their person. I'm going to put this class together because I'm also going to be working on, on giving you information on how to actually nurture a man. Because it's not just about, once again, you guys getting what you want out of him. What are you giving back? I hear this so often. Women have all these little truck list things they want out of this man. And I, when I ask the question, what are you giving him? What are you offering him? I get crickets. I well, never thought about that. Of course you didn't. You're selfish. That's how you're being raised culturally, to be selfish. Me, 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 me. But if you're going to be in a space where you're attracting this man who literally is going to do for you in ways that you have never seen a man do for you before, he, there has to be reciprocity. And when you're dealing with them and you want to be in a space of being more feminine, being able to be in a space to be soft and more gentle, and you want a man to provide for you and so that you can actually be in that energy because you don't have to go out there and, you know, make yourself crazy and, you know, fight out there in the world, so to speak, to make a living too. You need to understand how to create that safe haven and space for him. How do you require, um, accomplish a quiet home, a peaceful home? How do you turn your home into that sanctuary and temple that I discuss so often? So in this upcoming master class, I don't know if I'm going to teach it live or it's going to go straight to the academy. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do just yet. We're going to talk about how to care for him. Sex will be part of the conversation, but that's not the most of the, that's a tiny part of the conversation. It's an important part of it. But what about how do you feed him? How do you nurture him? How do you look after his health? 
because I'm going to tell you this right now, this type of men, they don't look after their health. They do, All they do is they're workhorses. They work, 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 because they know that at home they have responsibilities. That could be children, the wife, the this, the that, the maintaining the home. That is important to them because that is part of how they give back to us. And when he's in the right household, he does it happily and gladly. With the wrong woman, he'll still do it, but he's going to be dying inside because he has he's not being appreciated. He, he may not be held in that and at a level of respect that he should be. And then we'll talk about the sex because, yeah, the sex is important. I hear women talking about the fact that, you know, they're not going to, you know, give their husband or their, if, they're, if they're in a long term relationship with a man. Uh, and they're looking at it as a husband-wife relationship because not every marriage has a marriage license, just so you know. When the conversation has been had that it's an exclusive relationship, there's a difference. I may have a whole other master class on that topic. But if it is, let's say, let's say a marriage, and this man is providing for her in a way that she doesn't have to be out there in the streets, is providing for her in a way, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't require two, a two-income uh, household. It doesn't require one. You may initially have to cut back on some of the extra stuff that you have, but if it's done correctly, paired up properly, that man is going to become a prosperous man because he has a woman at home who understands how to pour into him so that he has the energy to go back out there and do more and greater things because when he comes home, he has peace of mind. And with peace of mind, that means he's going to have time to sit down and think and talk with her. Because if she, this is being done properly, they're having conversations. He's coming to her for her wisdom. Because a, a wise man knows that we, and a, who, when he's done with a wise woman, not everyone has reached this point. This takes this is something that takes work and discipline in us to acquire. But when a man has has found himself a wise woman who literally is moving in her divinity, who is moving in her spiritual awareness, grace, and oh my God, just mwah, knowledge, he's going to come to her and have conversations and ask for her opinion and ask for her suggestions on things that he's doing because it's a team effort. He is the brawn. He is the strength. He's the one who will take the hit of the hard hit, so to speak. He'll do that to make sure that home is covered. I'll say this once more. Most women do not deserve a man like that. Because all you do is aggravate him. I'm not saying all any of you that I'm talking to are listening to this. I'm just saying we all know the situation. A woman who just aggravates and aggravates and aggravates and is never happy, always unhappy, nothing's good enough, just a pain in the ass to put in my, just putting up when you're going to be blunt, just being a pain in the ass, purely for the fact that she can be one because she hasn't resolved her issues. She hasn't healed herself. So when I do this master class, we're going to talk about that. How are you watching over his health? Do you know how to bring up those conversations with a man? to make sure that he's actually getting in to the doctor periodically for a physical or because a physical is not a bad thing periodically i don't you know i'm not real big on you know modern medicine per se but it does have its place it's a great place to learn things so you don't know how to prevent stuff and once again if you're dealing with melanated men there's a whole list of health issues that come up high blood pressure type 2 diabetes heart uh, um, disease colon cancer prostate cancer. I can go through obesity. I can go through a whole list of issues that really run rampant in the community of melanated men. And as a melanated woman who looks after the melanated men in my life, because I do, I do, I have them all on supplement plans right now. Because <laughs> I notice stuff. I have to laugh or they'll come to me and talk to me about different things. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Oh, my body, this or that. I'm like, okay, talk to me. Because I am a wise woman. I am the priestess. These are facts. I've been studying herbs for a long time and I have access to um I have access to people that are wiser than me. A master herbalist, uh natural what is it, natural naturopathic um physicians. I have access to people with even greater wisdom than I have. Because for me, it's very important that the masculine in my household that's part of my life is healthy and well. I'm taking care of me 
and I want I'm going to live a long, healthy, and wonderful life. I need you know the majority of them to be there with me. If they can't be there till the end of mine, they need to be there as long as I can have them present with me. So as that wise woman, as that spiritual compass, so to speak, are you hearing what I'm saying? There's a great deal of, of wisdom and guidance and love because love is what drives me. It really, really does. There is so much that we need to know if you're looking to attract a truly masculine man. Because he's not going to let you bully him. Because once you go into the energy of a bully, he's picking up aggression. He picks up that kind of aggression. He's feeling you as the masculine. And once he feels you as a masculine, I've said this before in other audios and videos. Once a man can pick up energy from a woman that feels masculine, energetically, he no longer senses you to be a woman. You now are competition. He's going to take you out. He's going to. That's how they're built. And I'll say this again. You're never, ever going to outman a man. You can't do it. That's why when we come into, and when we come into you know, conflict with them or there needs to be conflict resolution, you don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. There's a way that you do conflict resolution as a woman that is totally different than a man. And it's a way that can be done where you can actually be heard by a man and hear him in return and have peaceful resolutions to situations that maybe going, have gone sideways before. This is a lifelong process. This is learning. This is evolution. So I want you guys to think what I'm sharing because I don't want this audio to go on forever. When it comes to men, do you consider yourself to be a wise woman? And be honest. Don't, 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 don't get the big head. Like I said, because it's more than sex. Just because you might be great in bed doesn't make you a wise woman. It just means you're great in bed. And guess what? A lot of women are. Because for some reason, women keep thinking they got to be porn stars. I'm like, do you know that porn, they, that's an eight-hour day, that's an eight-hour day job? That whole whatever, I don't even know how long, I don't watch porn. But I don't know how long the clips last. But if it's, I don't know how long the clips last. Let's say half an hour. If you were watching like half 30 minutes of porn, do you realize it probably took them four to eight hours to create that half an hour edited version that you're seeing? There have been breaks have been taken. The man has lost his erection. She's tired and has a cramp. They need to take a break for lunch. It's not like they're just knocking that out for 30 minutes straight. It has been edited. So while to be sexually skilled is a wonderful thing, I do highly recommend it, but some women really wear themselves out. And it's like, okay, once again, wisdom. Because that experience for a man, that's a release for him, but that's, he needs more. Just like it's a release for us, we need more. So when you're moving into your wisdom and learning, once again, how to be a woman first, and then learning how to interact with men who are actually men, you're going to discover there's all kind of ways you can pour into a man that don't involve you have that doesn't even involve your vagina. It's a fun part, but it's not the only thing that he needs because there are times they just simply need affection too that has nothing to do with sex. But how to approach that with him? Like I said, that's a skill set. I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to get off this audio. Have you ever washed a man's feet before? Oh, I can hear. I can, I'm, I'm recording the audio and haven't heard you guys listen to it yet. And I can already feel the pushback on that one. Have you? Have you ever sat a man down, put his feet in, into a tub of water and washed his feet before? That is such a sweet way to honor a man, to show him that how much you appreciate him and respect him because you're willing to do that particular, I don't want to call it a service, that particular gift of love for him. And, and most of them have never, I'd probably say 90% have never even experienced that before. Probably more like 99%, but I'm being generous right now. It's almost at a point if they feel embarrassed initially when it's being done for them because they're like, it feels awkward. But if you look at him and say, but you know what? I'm here for you and I want to do I want to gift you this moment I want you to relax because when you're doing a foot bath just so you know if you put in the right herbs and the right clays and the right stuff in that foot bath you're gonna be drawing toxins out of his body and then add a nice foot massage to it 
that he can actually relax and maybe even fall asleep in the chair. That means he has a moment to really relax because he feels safe. Ladies, there's so many things we can do for our men. But you have to know how to once again move through your energy and space and honoring yourself as a woman in your entirety, not just the exterior, not just, you know, some of the things you need to do for him, like cook and clean or whatever. I got news for you. If it's done properly, you can hire somebody to cook and you can hire somebody to clean your house. And you can take that energy and pour it into other ways. You can actually pour into self and to pour into your man. So just want to share the information with you guys today because I want to give you guys some things, some things, some things to think about. I share what I share because I do appreciate you coming here to listen to the information I share. And because I do, once again, want to be that wise woman voice that's going to assist you. I know my goddaughters are amazing. I've said this beforehand. I've got, once again, emails that come from those of you that listen to me here. It may not be goddaughters yet. So I want to share this with you because, once again, I want the best for you. And coming from a space where you're gaining wisdom on how to be first your personal best, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, so that when you now are engaging with the masculine, engaging with men, you are doing it from a position of self-confidence, self-love, knowing your worth, and no settling. So that's all for today. Have an awesome day and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.